Well, good morning, everybody, and happy Easter. There's a question I would like to ask you this morning. And the question is, what difference does Easter mean for you today? I think this is going to be an Easter that none of us are going to forget in a hurry. And if you're like me, you've been separated from friends and families. We're unable to meet together in person. And there's great uncertainty about what the future is going to hold. Very sadly, in the UK, almost 9,000 people have now lost their lives due to this pandemic. And if you've not personally been affected by coronavirus, I'm sure that you'll know someone who's been affected either through their work or their finances or maybe even their health. So what difference does Easter make for you and me today? I'd like to read to you a verse from 1 Peter chapter 1 and it's verse 3. God has given us a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. One of my favourite Star Wars movies is the film Rogue One. And if you know the film, you'll know this line which encompasses the whole film. It's when one of the characters says to the main character, you're asking us to risk everything based on hope. And the main character responds saying, we have hope. Rebellions are built on hope. The premise of the whole film is hope. And the resurrection of Jesus Christ is all about hope. If you're here today and you're struggling with life, or maybe you're struggling with your faith, I'd encourage you to focus on the empty tomb. Focus on the resurrection of Jesus Christ, because that's where you will begin to see hope. Bishop Leslie Newbegin said this, The resurrection is not the reversal of defeat, it's the manifestation of victory. The resurrection turns all of our fears and our failures into a victory. And on that first Easter Sunday, I'm sure Mary was totally distraught. But by the end of the day, she'd met the risen Christ and her hope had been restored. In Mary's distress, Jesus brings hope. In Peter, Peter who rejected Jesus, Jesus brings restoration with the disciples, those who struggled with weaknesses. Jesus brings the power of the Holy Spirit. Within the early church, as they went through great persecution, God brings this wonderful new revival. All of those groups of people received the hope of the resurrection, the hope of the empty tomb. The, the message version of that passage from Peter says this, because Jesus was raised from the dead, we have been given a brand new life and have everything to live for, including a future in heaven. And that future starts now. It means the day is going to come when God is going to put everything right. He's going to restore all things. That means that future also begins today. And yes, as we look around the world, we'll still see darkness. We'll see wars and we'll see injustice and we will see sickness. But God is going to make everything right. In a way, that's a picture of the empty tomb. On that first Easter Sunday, the stone was rolled away, but the tomb was still engulfed in darkness. And I'm sure as the sun shone and shone through into that tomb, it began to push the darkness back. That's the hope of the resurrection, that Jesus is pushing the darkness back. He's creating his kingdom and he's bringing restoration and peace and he's bringing hope to the nations. So the first part of that verse from Peter tells us that God has given us new birth. And maybe today you could probably honestly say that you've never given your life to Jesus. Or maybe you've been a Christian for many, many years. But that promise is that we have a new birth, which means we have a new relationship with Jesus. We have a new relationship with our Heavenly Father. We have a new relationship by the Holy Spirit. We just pray for the Spirit to bring us his love, his peace, his joy and his hope into our lives and we can start living life in all its fullness that God has called us to do. The second part of that verse tells us God has given us new birth but he's given us into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. If Jesus really did rise from the dead then everything has changed. What does Easter mean for you today? It means that if this is real, everything has changed. 
We have new birth. We have a new relationship with our Heavenly Father. But we also have a living hope that God is going to restore all things to new. And we have that hope, that future hope today in our present reality. Future hope grounded in present reality. That's the hope of the gospel. It's the hope that Jesus brings us. It's the hope of the resurrection. It's the hope of the empty tomb that everything has changed. God is going to make all things new. And no matter how dark things look, we know what the future will hold. The future is going to be the light and the goodness and the power that comes through a relationship through God the Father, by Jesus, in the power of the Holy Spirit. Bye for now.